This is a Native American ring that came in. The shank is cracked. So what we're going to do is try and repair that crack. So first what we'll do, is we're going to laser it, kind of smooth out those rough edges. And what the laser does is it gets right down in there, pushes all the metal into itself, heats it, and it kind of compacts it. So getting all of that metal compacted into itself will help us to make a good strong weld. Now silver heats up quite a bit as you are welding it. It's very conductive material. We're going to bring in a little cup of water just to help cool down the metal. With this particular ring, we have all these stones on there. We don't want those stones coming out or the glue heating up and the glue failing to hold those stones in. So, we're going to use that water just to dip the ring every now and then. And then we'll use the silver wire to fill in that crack. What we'll do is we'll just fix up this little welding mark we've got here. And we'll just fill in all those areas where the crack was. And cool off our ring. Again, we don't want those stones to come out or get heated up. So the settings we're using, we have our power at about 1.3 kilowatts. And we have our spot right around 0.8 with our time set about three. And we're on the pulse wave right now. I find that these settings are just generally pretty good for silver. It helps to get pretty much right where you need to be. As you go smaller, uh, as you work on smaller pieces, you'll need to change those settings and not be quite as powerful uh, with the laser uh, because what's, what'll happen is you'll just burn right through that metal. With thicker pieces like this, you'll, you'll need more power to get that weld to actually stay. So we're looking pretty good here. And what I'm doing here is I'm just bringing it slightly out of focus towards me. And what that does is it spreads the beam and it helps to even out that metal. So when you have it just in focus, you're gonna be getting a great weld and you'll get those weld lines as you kind of see here. But as you bring it closer to yourself and spread it out, It'll just kind of smooth the metal for you, leaving a nice surface like this, making it easier to clean up. So now, as you can see, what we'll do is we'll clean up those edges. When those edges are all cleaned up, it'll look brand new.